Hello and welcome to my islands and welcome to uh, cloudy and cool and a bit windy Guernsey. Um, behind me here is the Doyle Monument which was uh, erected to Sir John Doyle who was a uh, Lieutenant Governor in the early 19th century. This is actually not the original, um, it's actually quite a sorry sort of shade of the original. The original was over 100 feet tall and it had steps in so you could go up and see the wonderful views over to the islands and to St Peterport down below. There's lots to say about uh, Sir John Doyle um, so I will be doing another video about him because he made so many changes to the island, he even changed the shape of the island. But today um, I'm going to be walking around, this is Jerburg Point which is the site of the old Jerburg Castle um, which was in the operational in the early 1300s. Um, it was more of a, an Iron Age fort type castle with ramp, ramparts dug out to cut off this peninsula from the rest of the island to make it more defensible um, rather than a true castle. But there were a couple of towers here. This is the site of one of them, which was actually finally demolished to make the, uh, the monument in 1820. Um, but there's not really much left to see left of the, the Gerbo Castle itself and I guess a lot of people don't even know it used to be a castle. So today I'll be walking around St Martin's, the parish of St Martin's in Guernsey, um, on the upper cliff path. Lots of cliff paths on the east coast here. Um, as I say it's not a brilliant day for weather so I'm not sure if I take any photos but if I do I'll post them. Um, and later on we'll uh, hear a little bit about the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. I'll start that again. <laughs> the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society book and some of the locations that feature in it. So coming down this path if you use a little imagination, you can kind of see where the land was dug out. It was probably natural, but enhanced, dug to provide fortification for Castle Gerberg. So I'm walking on the upper cliff path on the east coast. This uh, east coast is kind of crisscross with lots of paths. If you, you wouldn't get lost really because it's a small island and you eventually you'd find your way. But uh, there is a, an ultra marathon against the Ultra G36 um, and they created some videos for that. I did that a few years ago back in 2020 I think. Um, to help the participants find the right route and not go the wrong way and add miles onto the 36 mile route. I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested in that. And as usual on Guernsey there's no escaping the remains of the occupation in the Second World War. This is uh, a Tobruk by the look of it. Um, the bigger battery was over on Gerberg near the Doyle Monument. But obviously the cliffs are littered with this kind of thing. This one's got a wall built over it. And if you don't know what a Tobruk is, this, um, this patch in the middle here would, would have been a hole and the soldier would have been in there using it for cover firing out possibly you know for attackers coming along either way or 
Maybe if this uh, hedge wasn't here, they could see right down the hillside towards the coast. So we're now approaching Calais. It's an area of St Martin's. And at this point I need to come clean because I haven't actually read the book The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. I mean the title's hard enough to say. I didn't think it made it past the first chapter. Mainly because the names just didn't sit right. They weren't Guernsey names. Um, so it also reminded me of uh, another book where an alien character was undercover on Earth and thought the perfect name to be not stand out was Ford Prefect. But anyway, I digress. I'm told in the books that Calais and the Bouvet, which is a, where we're heading towards after this, feature in the books. So here we are. So this is Gypsy Lane. Um, which connects Calais and uh, the Bouvet over there, which we're now walking. Apparently also features in the book. It may have been the place where they were caught breaking the curfew. I don't know. <laughs> it's a nice walk though. It's probably quite a short walk today, so it will be a short video. Um, but hopefully I'm doing a few more on different features of Guernsey and other places. Um, in future weeks and months. So we're now in uh, a Bouvet. Apparently this is the one of the houses that um, people think may have been mentioned in the book. It was a very small hamlet and um, back in the war you could quite see uh, people living in here have been quite remote and using Gypsy Lane to connect to Calais and St Martins. So here we are back at Doyle Monument, which uh, I forgot to mention. Um, the original monument, which I talked about before, was actually demolished by the Germans. There's a, a big battery around here and it restricted their 360 degree line of fire. So it was demolished. And uh, as I said, it was a sorry replacement put up there. But anyway, that's the end of my short walk, short video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe if you're so inclined and hit the like button and hit the bell for further notifications. Also welcome any comments below, that would be fantastic. See you next time, thank you.